Do you want an entire year's worth of food for around $75 per person? Here we go. Rice and beans. Now I know that sounds like a lot of rice and a lot of beans. But the intention is that it's either the safety net that you start with so that you know you have at least the basics to get you through, or you've worked on beefing up your regular pantry and buying a few of the other options that I presented here and using this to stretch out what you already have. But either way, rice and beans are the cheapest way to feed your family. Rice and beans is a staple in most parts of the world. Rice especially is found on every continent and is considered a food staple. And part of the reason is they not only both grow really well in a lot of places, but they are very, very affordable. And one of the best parts is rice and beans, when properly stored, not meaning in these packages, but repackaged in a long-term basis, will last you 25 to 30 years. So it's a really cheap way to get a lot of food security that lasts for a really long time. So here's what I've got. It is 100 pounds of rice and 50 pounds of beans. This is actually 48 pounds of beans because it's six eight pound packages, but I was pretty close. So the rice is currently at Walmart $8.48 for a 20 pound bag. And that will get you 202 servings. So for right around $40, you can get over a thousand servings of rice. That's a lot of rice. And the beans, an eight pound bag of pinto beans is $5.98 for eight pounds, which is 102 servings. So for around $35, you can get 624 servings of beans. That's enough beans for two servings a day and enough rice for three servings a day for one person for right around $75. It is the cheapest way to get food security. It's really long lasting. And it's a great foundation to build the rest of your food storage upon. The other thing is, if you've got more than one person in your family, this is a six month supply for two people or a three month start for a family of four. For $75, to have three months worth of food for $25 a month for a family of four, you just can't beat this. And if you're doing it for one person at $75 a piece, it comes out to just over $6 a month to have the food, to have as a backup in case there is some sort of major catastrophe or something that significantly impacts our food supplies. It's a great foundation. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to eat rice and beans every day, three meals a day for a year, but it's a foundation to build your food storage on. Additionally, rice and beans are so basic that there are a lot of things that you can do with them. You can add them in to other items that you're preparing to stretch food out. You can prepare them in a variety of ways. And a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of flavor will really go a long way to enhance these. If you're making soup, have some rice on hand to stretch it out a little bit. Have a can of your favorite chili, pour it over a bed of rice to stretch it out and make it go a little bit farther. These are such great basics. Every family should have some of these stored up just in case of an emergency. 
whether you're doing it for one person or two or for a family, this is a great place to start and it's the cheapest place to start. And all of this stuff can be picked up at your local Walmart. So next time you're out at the store, grab some beans and grab some rice and just tuck them away. I will do another video down the road that talks a little bit about the best way to store some of these items, especially if you want to store them as a long-term solution. But rice and beans are probably something that you go through to have varying degrees in your family already. Specifically white rice. Brown rice has too many oils and will go bad after about six months, but white rice will store for 30 years. And beans, almost any kind of beans, pinto beans, black beans, whatever, they will all last for about 30 years. Pinto beans tend to be the cheapest. And if you want to cut your prices even lower than the Walmart basis, if you shop at Sam's Club or Costco, you can often buy 25 or 50 pound bags even cheaper. Or if there's a bulk area, a bulk store in your area, they also regularly sell them at even lower prices. Or watch for sales and pick them up on sales. These were just regular Walmart everyday prices. I picked Walmart because Walmarts are everywhere and the prices are pretty consistent on both walmart.com and at Walmarts across the country. Additionally, as you can see here, it doesn't take up that much space. I've got it all sitting here on the bottom shelf and this whole center area is still empty that I could put even more. And again, this is the basis for a year supply and I can stretch it out in a million ways. Whatever you do, do something today to be prepared.